Hi, welcome to the podcast of Open Minded. My name is Roberto. My name is Alejandro. My name is Eric. And today we'll be talking about how we've been dealing with the quarantine. So uh, this quarantine has made many of us uh, change the ways the way uh, we carry ourselves, the way we um, go to the supermarket. Uh, if you do exercise, it most likely changed uh, your 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 workout program. Um, also, the, um, the liberties you have outside of your house, uh, maybe just going to your to your um, to your front yard and or like your backyard, um, it has uh, significantly restricted us on our liberties. But um, it's something that uh, that helps in order to uh, stop the spreading of the virus. But um, for example, me. Uh, my well i go to the gym so i had to change uh all my workout routines from uh, from using weights uh to using uh, my own body weight uh also resistance bands uh, we recently got resistance bands in order to put more resistance on the on the movement and also we had to change our schedule like when we go to the supermarket um yeah like uh, breaking into groups for example i just get a i get almond milk because i'm lactose intolerant so i I would get almond milk i get nuts uh nuts and butter just to uh give me that Mm -hmm. that a boost of protein and extra fat so. Yeah, like we tend to split off. So, like, let's say I'll go ahead and find the mead, and then um, Alex will get his things, and then, um, or if not, Eric would go ahead and get vegetables or rice or where it is, so we could spend less time in the market and expose ourselves to like anyone that might have it. So, yeah, like, pretty much, like, the faster we get out of there, the better it'll be for us. So, that's what we tend to split it up. And, yeah, of course, once we're, once we're, like, once we have the stuff and we're heading towards the car, I'm like, of course, we'll go ahead and get um, sanitizing wipes or just, sani- like, a hand sanitizer, sanitizer, hand sanitizer. And just pretty much everybody gets them, rub it all around now we have like a little like a way to do it too like so we could fully like fully cover our hands like with sanitizer like of course yeah and and then once we get home we'll go ahead and um spray down things like things that are more prone to be touched or pretty much everything and yeah so we could at least like prevent the virus from being like consumed by us or just just contaminate much, contaminate yeah. and infect uh, everyone else mm-hmm. so and we also take care of like vulnerable family members like our mom her mm-hmm. doctor said she, she could be more vulnerable to the virus so we tend to take care of her more so i would not take her to the supermarket as much yeah, well, we leave her, well, we try not for, like, we try, we, well, we'll basically leave her home, and we'll go ahead and get the things, we'll go ahead and get uh, what we need, and, yeah, it sucks, because she hasn't been able to go out, but it's for her own health, since she's, like, probably, like, at least her immune system is, like, the weakest out of all of us, um we'll leave her well we'll make her stay home meanwhile we go ahead and go outside and get what we need because we like we even stop like going on like daily walks or just going to restaurants or get our drink at starbucks and yeah well also you you've been forced to uh incorporate uh more cardiovascular exercises into uh, your workout routines, right? Because yeah, because well, I like at least when the gyms were open, I never did any cardio. Like pretty much, I was just a weightlifter, just 
just pure like free weights um and yeah never really did cardio and then now well since i want to get some workout in and i don't have weights at home um of course i'll start running or if not just go on like a pretty long walk just so i could get some like a little like sweat going and yeah since i can't lift weights and then like now i've been i've been trying to well i've been planning um a workout routine with the bands now that we have them and yeah and then at least like this at my like at work um at work now like we pretty much have somebody that's designated just to sanitize everything that people are tend to touch so like keyboards mouses and like buttons that on like the heavy machinery that we that we touch frequently and pretty much they have me at least on my shift they have me on my shift just uh cleaning just pretty much every four hours i have to come by and clean that same machine over and, and over uh, again to ex- oh, sorry. go for it and to explain why uh, yeah it's suggested and why we maintain a uh, more strict hygiene now because uh like if you're touching for example depends the way depends on the way you uh, cover your mouth when you sneeze or you cough um if you if you cough or sneeze on your hand you're gonna obviously touch other objects unless mm-hmm. you you um unless you use hand sanitizer or, or just wash your hands with soap uh you're gonna obviously touch other objects and um the virus is obviously gonna be there so when someone comes and they touch it they're gonna they're gonna lift off some some uh some bacteria and and and, and virus and they're just gonna mm-hmm. carry it into their home and yeah, like basically okay like you, there's that whole thing the the social distancing where you have to keep like six feet away from yeah. people um and yeah like you have to keep away from people so like they do have they do have viruses or, or bacteria or all that stuff and you don't want to get infected by that but you don't put in account like the things that people touch so like the handles yeah. of like i don't know a store doors and all stuff like I've, I've noticed that like a lot of stores now well whenever we go to stores um that like you have to open the door they have it open for you well also your uh, your your phone like it's um, mm-hmm. so like let's say like yeah like you like you're walking around you touch items from the store but like mm-hmm. i don't know you touch the milk you touch this you touch that you don't know how many other people have touched it so um so yeah and then you go over there touch your phone so now it's on your phone too and yeah. you tend to touch your phone more frequently than and anything else too and also another problem is that uh, people are more they're more accustomed to when they're talking on the phone they stick the phone to their face so, mm-hmm. you know like they're obviously gonna whatever they touch whatever contaminated objects they touched and they brought that onto their phone they're gonna put it all over their face and like a it's uh, in the in the medical field. It's 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 uh, not permitted to use your phone. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it's not permitted because of course you're you're dealing with patients that might have something, and then um, if you go over there, touch your phone, and then you put it on your face. So now it's closer to your mouth, your eyes, yeah, your is. nose. Like well, but one thing I've also done is uh, since I have very delicate skin, it dries up very fast. I. Uh, but but I bought some lotion. So like after I wash my hands a couple of times, I apply lotion on my hands because if my hands become very dry and brittle, uh, my skin begins to break off and I I get a small lesions on my hands. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna leave me uh, more prone to uh, getting uh, bacteria and viruses into the mm-hmm. into the small wounds. So yeah and then uh that's 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 uh one thing i would i would highly recommend if you have delicate skin so. and then like at least with me like i had to change a lot of things like i'm like like i'm like that guy that like let's say if like my sandwich falls on the floor and all stuff i'm like oh it's fine i'm like just wipe it off and eat it um or if not like when i get um 
like when I get a cut or something, I'm like, I'll just leave it open. Because I'm like, oh, it'll it'll heal eventually. Like, and then now, like, if I, like, now that I get cuts or stuff or something falls, like, I won't just eat it or just pick it up right away. I'm like, of course, I'll pick it up and then I have to sanitize instead of not doing it, not doing that step like how I was before. Mm-hmm. Well, also, what, what, one thing we, we started to do is uh, wear, uh, just wear sandals or, or just your socks walk around mm-hmm. with your socks and inside your house uh, because yeah um, obviously when you're walking into your home mm-hmm. walk, walking into your home with uh, your shoes on you bring uh, dirt and yeah everything. you're bringing dirt and other uh, toxic uh, particles you brought in from the outside so and like you're stepping on your carpet you're stepping on your floor so or like yeah like you'll have that like let's say you get home like tired and all stuff and you lay down on the floor or yeah. something like of course you're gonna pick it up that way too so like might as well like in order to prevent that like we like we're um like we're just leaving the shoes outside and just walking with our socks and all yeah. stuff and then like too like what we have now too like let's say if one of us forgets to wash our hands or use hand sanitizer like we'll um we're basically policing each other Mm-hmm. on that so like let's say if you forget i'm like hey dude you forgot to wash your hands or you forgot to use sanitizer so go do it right now yeah that's like a few of the things that we've been doing just to prevent like the spread and just in case if like we run into somebody that has it or just run into something that a like an infected person might touch too on, and also, uh, well, talking about the supermarket, uh, we 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 try to uh, go to the su- to the store or the supermarket on the weekdays because it's obvious on the weekend on the weekends you're gonna it's gonna be a lot of people who are uh, off of work and mm-hmm. like the few people that are yeah, working and they they want to have some time with their family so it's gonna be more people with the opportunity to. Uh, visit the supermarket and buy their groceries on the weekend mm-hmm. so we tend to um, go buy groceries mm-hmm. during the weekdays and then early in the morning too yeah. because of, of course like um, of course they're gonna they're gonna be I'm, I'm pretty sure like the majority of the stores are sanitizing all day long but um, like of course like when they close like I'm pretty sure they have a policy in place now now that this is going on that like they have to sanitize or clean as much as they can be before they leave too so like of course it's going to be much cleaner when you come in in the morning and then like of course there's less less there's less foot traffic and people going in in and out of the store so like let's say if like let's say probably i'm not sure what's the was a like the lifespan of the virus or whatever it is when it's outside of a person's body um but like yeah like it might be dead i'm not sure but and yeah it's just the stores might be mud the stores are much cleaner early on in the morning too well i've heard supposedly um from the cdc that that its average lifespan is three hours so mm-hmm. so i'm pretty sure like let's say the close the stores close at i don't know they they, they close at nine or ten mm-hmm. and um so they they close out of that time and then they clean probably for an hour or two yeah so that would be around 12 let's say roughly around 12 and then they open the stores at least for the public i don't know like what time do the senior citizens go in it's like well it, it it's not it's not in, in every store in the supermarket but mm-hmm. in most of them it's like around seven around seven yeah. so like they open it to the public for like they open to the public around like eight Eight. or ten um so of course like the virus it will be dead or the majority of it might be dead so yeah it's much safer going in in the morning instead of like when when like throughout the day like they say if you go when it's almost closing or and like midday or yeah and uh, talking about social 
distancing that I've uh, I've uh, distanced myself from from my friends. I haven't uh, I haven't hanged out with my friends recently. Uh, once once like the the mayor of uh, the Los Angeles uh, district he uh, county he he announced mm -hmm. that well yeah don't don't uh it's supposed to be limited to like under 10 people 10 or less but like also like taking consideration that six feet it's not it's not so like it, it doesn't fully protect you and especially if uh if it's a windy if it's a windy day mm -hmm. and you're six feet away from the person if uh, they're infected and they begin to cough, it's it, it'll travel. Yeah, it'll travel more. It'll travel further. So mm -hmm. yeah, so it's it's more reasonable just yeah staying at at home and uh, being around people you obviously know, like for example your brothers or your parents. You're gonna know what what they're doing, uh, where they went. Uh, yeah, the places they've been, mm -hmm. but like also like there's there's a lot of things to do at home, like a, for example, there's some people that they probably been planning to change the the tiles on their on their house, like the 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 tiles on their floor. Um, this time they have a quarantine. They, it's a the time they could take it, take advantage and replace the flooring on their house. Uh, maybe remodeling the cabinets recently i've been reading uh two books i've been uh reading uh, this book called uh dangerous enemy by dr osterholm where it talks about uh how different viruses have affected uh, the u.s and other countries uh the main reason because they're not prepared and also um I think it's called the world's fittest book by Ross uh, Edgley, where it basically talks about uh, how how you're gonna how you're gonna improve on your uh, on your uh, fitness programs, uh, your fitness goals, uh, the best way to reach your goal, or like how to improve. So that's one thing I've been doing: uh, reading. Uh, I've been a little more active on social media by uh, like sharing my workouts, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. sharing information, uh, like how to just like different exercises you could do in order to uh, um, just like release the stress, the, the 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 stress and the strain from your back, your knees, stuff like that. So mm. and well. Now that like they closed your high school, like what are you doing too to like distract yourself, Eric? Well, some things I've been doing is, um, I've been doing more chores in the house. Then, mm -hmm. also, uh, when when you're not working, sometimes we go bike riding, or mm -hmm. like yesterday, when you weren't working, we we went jogging. Mm -hmm. Just and, to distract yourself, since. You're not, since you're not able, well, you're able to drive a car, but um, since you don't have a car to drive or just, like, you tend to be, like, you're more close to us, so, um, like, well, you don't really do stuff alone, too. Like, yeah. you tend to not go outside alone or without one of us, so, well, of course, like, when I'm here, I'm like, you're, you'll be telling me, like, hey, dude, I'm like, let's go on a run or let's go bike riding like today we have scheduled to like go bike riding and we might do this this like little um, route that we've been planning I am. and then like anything else that you've been doing or and like how have you been keeping contact with your friends if there's if you have any way to contact them I usually I contact them through Instagram, so sometimes I'll text them, but yeah, it's mostly, mostly it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because you're a pretty, you're pretty introvert. Like, tend to just stick to yourself. Um, not really go out like or be in a big group too. So like, you don't really need that like social environment that like other people might need. What are some things you've you've uh, changed significantly changed from your lifestyle? No, well, at least me, like I've, at least me, like I've, like I've contacted some of like my friends that I haven't talked to in a while. I'm like, are these the people that matter to me? I'm like, I've contacted them and I'm like, hey, I'll, how's it going on? How, um, like, if you need any help or you need any food for your kids or something, like, let me know. I'm like, um, be sure I could spare some food. Like, if you can't find any, he's like, of course, like, people, like, at least people that have, well, families that have, um, kids, um, it's, it's harder for them, man, like, especially since, like, a lot of people have lost their jobs or are not working or making any money, um, of course, for them, it's much harder, too, because now they have, I don't know, like, a kid, two or more that they have to feed but since they're not making any money how are they going to be able to um and yeah like that's why like i've contacted some people i'm like hey dude I'm like if you need any help I'm like i'm working I'm like i'm working i'm like pretty sure I, I could help you out in some way and yeah and then um pretty much yeah like now that the gyms are closed because like pretty much i've been going to the gym for like six years already and at least like me it's it's a routine it's um a routine that i go and i enjoy doing and now that it's closed i'm like of course i tend to get like a little um eh, like a little anxious and all stuff since i haven't been working out so like i'm not um using the energy that i have stored or the energy that i used to use in order to work out and yeah of course like i'll get a little anxious and like I'll just try to distract myself in any way that I can uh, like I started I started seeing more videos of just things because it's some, something that I like to do is just make things mm-hmm. I like making things I'm like of course like I like I've made knives walking sticks well a walking stick um and yeah like now i've been researching more how to make things and then we have planned to make a um like a cabinet. not like a dresser but a like cabinet so we could store all our pops mm-hmm. because we have a we have a pretty big collection of pops too yeah. and just yeah like um been planning on making one so i've been researching more how to do that like a good thing too is like well at least for people that i'm like oh i don't know i haven't haven't learned how to like i don't know how to cook now you have all this time like you could see youtube videos there's um cooking is like really big in youtube it's like a big category so Mm -hmm. of course you'll learn you can learn how to i don't know cook steak if you're able to find it cook steak pasta or something that you like or enjoy and yeah just get your skills up or if not just if you want to learn how to do photography i'm like i'm pretty sure there's videos on that and well yeah but like what the problem with photography is that you won't really have the liberty to really be going outside like well there, there's stuff there's, like you, you can learn places. it you can just learn it and um of course once i don't know this quarantine or once this whole, I don't know, epidemic or whatever you could call it, is over. Like, of course, you can use the skills that you learned. And you can now take better pictures of when you go to the beach or uh, when you visit a forest or just interesting things that you find around. Because, I mean, I've seen people, for example, I've seen, um, I've seen many people uh, reading books and especially... Uh, mm-hmm people attending uh, um, uh, people who whose classes were um, transferred to online or um, students whose classes are temporarily suspended 
uh, postponed. Uh, they've uh, read books like um, just to continue, just keep their 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 knowledge fresh. Uh, just mm -hmm. Keep on improving uh, on their literacy and yeah, that's what I've seen. Something uh, very common and that's that's one thing I I I started to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, and then of course, um, some people like some people would start playing video games too. Mm -hmm. Let's say if there's like a video game that you haven't that you haven't passed, and of course, you could, now that you have all this time, you could go ahead and do it. Yeah, especially now. Uh, I don't know how exactly that is right now, but uh, mm -hmm. it's probably right now. It's uh, growing and like. Especially now, well, mm -hmm. recently the gaming has been growing. I don't know about about r right now, but most likely it, it uh, has. It's probably been more active mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, obviously you have kids inside your house, uh, most likely without something to do. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they probably make their own Twitch. I've seen many people uh, open a TikTok, a TikTok account. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's many... But like yeah, gaming. I think probably gaming. It's uh, yeah, it's it's very active and. Well, that's one thing you could actually. That's one. What's it's now considered a sport, right? Because it's been yeah, already. It's, I don't know, an it's e sport a, or. It's in the Olympics it? now. I think so. Um, I'm not sure about that. No, I think right. Do you have any? I think it is. Yeah, I think uh, it was probably supposed to be in the Olympics this uh, year, but. Um, yeah, so like right now you could you could host the online tournaments. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really this quarantine wouldn't really affect it uh, to the well. It affects it to the extent where you, you won't be able to do it in stadiums or big venues. Mm -hmm. But you could you could stream it online. So yeah, or if not, just host online tournaments mm -hmm. or just have like build have a community. Like let's say a community of this big game like let's say red dead redemption right it's a really long game um so now that you have time to play it i'm like of course you could play this really long game and um just like talk you could talk to people that have played it before and they like each one of them could talk about like the adventures that they had in the game too because it's an open world game so you could do you pretty much do whatever you want or whatever the game allows you to do and yeah so like pretty much like my story will be different from yours and uh, like how i accomplished it and all stuff so no and also it's a it's a online game has online features so you can like get together with some friends and mm -hmm. you can have together. like your own like bandit group um like i don't know in the game like steal the train or still steal like expensive horses or whatever you want to do in there well, that's the the good thing that uh, about mm -hmm. one of the really good things about technology now that uh, well, if you haven't seen your family and you want to see your family, you could just uh, have like a video do a live uh, video call. So, well, you could also call them through the phone. But I mean, if you want to see them physically, just call them through the phone. Or yeah, if you have friends, you could uh, do an you could host an online uh, uh, game with some with some mm -hmm. friends. So. Yeah, you can start your own group. Because right. I've seen also uh, some college uh, classes, uh, courses, uh, professors, they just uh, do a live video chat with their students, so. And then, um, I'm, I, don't, I don't know exactly where is it from, but I think it was in China or Japan, I don't know where it is, somewhere over there, where uh, there is this, um, there is this class, I think it's um, of elementary schoolers, they did their own like online graduation well they did like graduation ceremony in minecraft and pretty much all of them like all the kids were they were lined up on the stand and they had their own like graduation uh in minecraft and i never yeah. heard i didn't hear about that well, that's cool <laughs> it's like you do stuff like that and i'm like um uh, yeah just communicate with like old friends too like mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, like, let's say now that your friend is not working and you have time or you're not working too, like, you could 
go ahead and like play with him and like while you're playing you can still communicate yeah but well one problem I have is that like there's been some people like they're criticizing like oh like you're using this as an excuse to uh, just do things you haven't done because mm -hmm. you have so many excuses that you're too busy uh, you're very occupied that you don't have the time like like you're grateful that you have this time but like that you didn't do it before like they're, they're getting criticized because they didn't do it before like some I've seen some influencers they're yeah they're just criticizing like you could have done this before and now like you're you're happy because this happened because now you have the time to do what you've never been able to do so but I mean like either way you have to stay productive in some manner so mm -hmm. yeah. of course like you're like yeah like you're an intelligent creature so like you have to be doing something if mm -hmm. not like you'll be driven crazy yeah. cause like of course some people will be able to like stay calm for like hours and hours on end but um there's other people that just can't stay still like I know um Eric <laughs> Like, he can't stay still in a car or just anything. Like, he has to be distracted doing something. And, like, yeah, like, let's say, like, other people, like, are able to just sit down and, I don't know, just meditate or just think of things. Like, keep their minds busy. Well, I've seen also in Italy, because uh, it's more common, like, it's... I seen, Well, I've seen it's more common over there for, like, a... Uh, there to be big buildings of uh, apartments and we have seen many videos of people uh, instructing exercises uh, mm -hmm. well-known singers uh, coming out of their uh, going out into their balcony and singing for for the mm -hmm. people and like everyone's outside right. hearing and like I've seen some videos of uh, I saw a video of a guy he like he has a big house and like it's surrounded by apartments and he has like a grass lawn on the on the on the roof, so like he was instructing an exercise, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like some type of yoga or something, and yeah, I've seen people host even uh, raves from their balcony, uh, DJs uh, putting music. So yeah, I think recently there's uh, there's like a rave or. I don't oh, know what yeah. you call them. There was a rave that like they streamed on TV yeah, and like, same, people were yeah. joining uh, in their house. <laughs> yeah, they got like the thousands of views. Uh, I saw a, a lot of my friends. They were uh, sh they were sharing videos and uh, pictures of the rave that the person was hosting. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's just like uh, I mean for the. It's just basically going out of your way and um, getting out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and just trying different things. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I haven't uh, felt uh, stressed or uh, experienced any psychological issues because of um, this whole quarantine problem. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I've just... I've just changed uh, the way I do things. Uh, I've introduced uh, different things into my my lifestyle, like uh, more reading, uh, mm, uh, trying different workouts. It's just, yeah, it's just basically going out of your way and just trying different things. I don't think it's it's that bad. Uh, I don't think it's as as bad as people make it seem. Uh, like. Uh, being locked in your house it's mm -hmm. it's yeah like it like you don't really see it as a depressing or extremely stressful mm -hmm. thing it's like the, there's so many things you could do um i mean especially the, the human mind we could we could just create things and just change things mm -hmm. just in a in a split second and yeah it's just mm -hmm. You could, um, you could try many things it's just like cooking reading uh, exercising it's just uh, remodeling your house so many things you could do it's just yeah, like at least me it's been like more stressful because yeah of course just me like me like who I am I'm like I tend to 
care more about you guys or my family members instead of myself so like yeah like let's say i'll i'll tend to get stressed out with i'm like oh how about if um again stressed out with like let's say buying masks for you guys or um having enough money to buy food or this or that even though if, of course I, I have our parents that like take like well will take care of that part but like i will stress out for your guys safety uh like yeah i don't know it's probably that like i have like that maternal instinct where i have to take care of you guys um more than myself so of course like at least to me that's what stresses me out more yeah and then we see that even um, our parents trying new things like for example yesterday my dad went um um running with my brother in a in a golf course because he's usually always going to the mountains was it it's like, it was it was a street it was yeah. just a street and then also um my our dad wants to install new rims on his car too mm -hmm. something he hasn't done because he hasn't really had the time because of work mm -hmm. because yeah he works a 12 hour like yeah, 12 shift hours. and yeah like he doesn't really have that much time and like the few time that he has over here he spends it resting or if not um going out on his runs because my dad like our dad loves nature like he loves going like running on trails and like seeing animals like deers and animals snakes and frogs or whatever he finds on there and um yeah he enjoys that but like now he can't go over there because yeah they're closed um because i think in the la county they yeah. close pretty much all like nature like natural parks or yeah whatever it is. parks and trails and very yeah, just beaches, very public areas that uh, could uh, sh or it could occupy it could be occupied by many people. So and then like, I'm I'm pretty sure you saw that too when um, like the little park next to the Target that we go to, like mm -hmm. all the, the monkey, the monkey bars, bars, the monkey bars and everything. Like, um, yeah, yellow tape like, on them. Was, for example, what are what are some things? Uh, well, like taking consideration that like. Uh, fear of uh, um, getting infected with this virus and being locked in your house what are some ways you guys have uh, maintained a healthy mental psyche like your mental health what's a way you guys have maintained a, a good mental health healthy um, I, at least for me it's just like, let's say I'll start like I'll um I put like calming music, so like piano music is something I like hearing. I uh, like like slow, um, like slow pace piano music just to calm me down, or if not like one of those, not really like white noise, but like one of those like like one of those noises that are made to calm you down, and yeah, or if not just start hearing a book so like let's say if i'm like thinking i'm like oh i need to i need to buy this i need to do that i need to do that i'm like i'll put on a book and then like of course i'll get distracted and like just start paying attention to the book and well because like i tend to hear more audiobooks than read um like i would um hear hear the book and just like try to immerse myself so like try to imagine like like imagine if I'm, I'm actually seeing it on tv or i'm in the book and yeah or if not just start playing video games too it's a good way to distract yourself so yeah like you'll start thinking like i tend to play more like racing games um i'll have i'll just play video games like i'll play a racing game and just customize my car or if not just look at different cars because it's something i like like i'm i don't know i somewhat consider myself a car enth enthusiast but i do have a prius and, um, <laughs> so, and like well i think 
one of the good things about yeah racing game is that like you uh, use your imagination to immerse yourself into um, the gameplay and like you you feel that uh, rush in your heartbeat that uh, adrenaline rush and mm-hmm. it's uh well after a while it would be relieving it would be mm-hmm. relaxing exciting so yeah because yeah. like at least now you're being distracted on oh should I turn already should I brake now mm-hmm. instead uh, because like I don't want to damage my car and crash or I want to finish first yeah how There's, about you uh Things that keep me calm is like when I um, see my family healthy and happy keeps keeps me happy. And also with all this quarantine, um, I've been um, watching more like animal videos. So I've been learning more about animals. Like recently, I saw I saw a video of like this um, this fossil that they found. That was um, it was a dinosaur that. That has um, that has some horns. It's called like a carno carnosaurus, something like that. And like, mm-hmm. it has it has a skull that could stretch open, and it would be helpful for them to like sort of like swallow a snake. creatures. Yeah, like a snake. Yeah, and then like you know, like I know you like playing Ark, so I'm pretty sure now you're um like you're researching more about like the animals or the dinosaurs dinosaurs that are in there. Yeah, and also I've been I've been um, helping my my mom out a little bit more like on chores. Mm-hmm. Now you haven't really been complaining. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do the chore. No, mm-hmm. you just been doing it more frequently, just to get distracted. Yeah, and also I've been um I've been um helping my mom cook breakfast more often. Like last time, well we're we're um. We're we're a Mexican family, so um, I help my mom make um, Mexican breakfast, like huevos rancheros, sometimes chilaquiles and stuff. And yeah, what have you been doing? Me well, I've always uh, maintained a healthy uh, mental mental uh, life, so I just stay positive and uh, I research so mm-hmm. I mean like that's that's one of the problems that um, I've seen that yeah, most like people don't... most people are, they're afraid because just like the way uh, media portrays the virus uh, just so like yeah mm-hmm. just constantly putting on television um, how many deaths uh, have how much the death rate has risen uh, the amount of people infected, but like, like when like you rarely hear them uh, talking about the like amount of people who who have uh, who have uh, survived the the virus. Um, how much is uh, decreased? Like it's. I just research just to um, just to not pay attention to that, so. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, just staying educated, uh, researching on, on researching their information, and uh, exercising. Um, like I said, I've uh, done more uh, body weight exercises, like uh, calis, like calisthenics. So, um, using resistance bands, reading, being a little more active on social media. So. Yeah, like you don't. Um like let's say if you hear something in the news, you don't believe it right away. You'll go out of your way to mm-hmm. like research it and all that stuff yeah. and to know the actual facts. Not just be like, Oh, you know, a thousand people have died in California or whatever it is. Like, yeah. no, I'm like, wait up, let me just let me just search where they're getting this information first. Well yeah, like um uh, I've been um, cause yeah, my my major is uh nursing, so like uh the stuff they talk about it, it uh, I understand it a little more. So yeah, like the other day, I um, I read a couple of articles like on the residual effects of the virus, and like I shared it online. I explained it, and there's a couple of friends who shared the information. So mm-hmm. yeah, I just I just stay positive. So it's just mm-hmm. and you tend to be a pretty positive person too. Mm-hmm. 
you don't really let like stuff affect you or yeah like you don't like you don't feel like you don't get down or whatever it is um whenever you find out like something mm-hmm. well i feel that's like um i feel like that's that's something like more common in our family like mm-hmm. uh but then, like, yeah, we tend to take care of each positive. other, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, let's say if I'm feeling down, I'm like, of course, you guys were like, hey, dude, like, what's going on? Um, like, how's, how can I help you out? Well, also, like, just, uh, yeah, keeping, uh, yeah, like, just keeping religion close to you. Well, if you're a religious person, uh, that would be a, a good way to um, stay positive. So. Mm-hmm. Then, also, we got a... As humans, we have to make sure that we don't get influenced too much by stuff we see online. So, mm-hmm. yeah, like I've seen recently, many people uh, talking about um, really think con- conspiracies about this virus. That like mm-hmm. it's bioterrorism, like it's more uh, about politics. That's because our politics and. It's just pointing the finger at many other people and, mm-hmm. um, like, really not uh, researching what's mm-hmm. happening. Uh, so yeah, it's so, like stuff you see online. We get we gotta we gotta make sure we gotta research about it. Make sure it's actually true what we see because mm-hmm. we don't want to get influenced by that and like spread false information to mm-hmm. others and possibly yeah. make them get more scared. Mm-hmm. So that's uh yeah that's that's the end uh yeah we talked about uh stuff we do um how our lifestyle changed different things we introduced into our life in order to uh stay distracted and just uh mm-hmm. mitigate the fear of uh this virus so yeah, yeah. just pretty much stay focused and healthy yeah yeah well Try not to get scared. Um, just practice good hygiene, and hopefully we all come out healthy out of this. Yeah. Bye.